Okay, there's an awful lot to get through, so let's get started. We'll try to make it a speed round. Let's go quick. Got a $2 copy of the portable Steinbeck right here in really nice shape. This contains, oh, see, I'm not going quick already. Everything there, so quite a bit by Steinbeck, all in one volume. And for $2, the Rum Diary, Hunter S. Thompson, oversized paperback, very nice condition. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Book Club edition, in really nice shape for only four bucks. This is always a cool find, even though we do find it fairly often. But still, really cool. And what do we got here? Ooh, Ed Mary. This is a random one. This is uh, one that I thought, guess I thought looked kind of neat. Edgar Allan Poe. This was $4. Ghostly Tales and Eerie Poems, illustrated by Larry Short. Whatever. Schweiger, something like that. Oh, wait, here we go. Let's open it up and take a quick peek. Looks like there's some interesting art in these. Not too much. Uh, yeah, scattered about through there. Really cool looking uh, cover, and it feels nice too. Nice and slick kind of feel. Glossy. Really cool cover art. So for four bucks, I thought that was kind of cool. And kind of the same deal with this. Bram Stoker's Dracula Omnibus, which contains three and one right here. Dracula, the Lair of the White Worm, and Dracula's Guest. So there's two other stories you don't find quite as often, but this is uh, for four bucks, this huge hardcover here. That's a pretty cool find. And spent a little extra on this because this is as cheap as you'd be able to find it. I remember when this came out last year, or maybe it was a year or two ago, it was very expensive, and I think this was on, this one at Copy and a few others that were there were $24.95 because maybe of that red mark or something. Kind of reminds me of the that old Seinfeld episode. <clears throat> There's an early episode called The Red Dot, where George buys a cashmere sweater for Elaine, and tries to make it seem like he spent a lot of money, but he actually didn't spend a lot of money because there's this red dot on the sweater, so he got it for a really good price. And he tries to pretend like he doesn't, he didn't see it, and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Anywho, so that's probably the deal with this. This would be really cool to look through, The Rise of the Dragon, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've seen, even before, even before even looking in this, I've seen just some video of when this came out, some of the art that's in this. It'd be fun to flip through everything a lot slower here. But just to give you a general idea, the gist of what this really, really, really cool coffee table sized book is about. Yeah, so spent a little extra on that. I think it's worth it though. I think it Normally it's like like sixty or seventy bucks or something. At least that was what I remember. Um, Two ninety nine for a cop, a really nice copy of Gardens of the Moon, which is the first book in the Malazan series by Stephen Erickson. Don't see his books too often there. Um, the portable Mark Twain. So we got the portable Steinbeck, the portable Mark Twain. Let's flip really quick to see. This contains all sorts of stuff. So, oh, yeah, it continues on. Letters. Interesting. Always like those portable, Viking Portable Library editions. Um, okay, we got a whole bunch of Glenn cookbooks. Great recipes in these. <laughs> the Cruel Wind. Now, this, these are big volumes, I think. <coughs> like uh, some of them are three or four and one, I think. Let's see, what do we got here? So this contains those three books. Oversized paperback, $3.99. <clears throat> really good deal, really nice condition. Also, Return of the Black Company. Not sure what 
sure what books are in there. there that could just, it's a little, this one's a little smaller. Could just be one book right there in that format, oversized paperback format. The Books of the South, so this contains those three books. About the same size as the one before. This is a big one though. This is a really cool find right here. They're, they all are, but this one especially because it's got the original Black Company first book in the series and then Shadow Lingers and the White Rose. Extra thick copy. All were four dollars each. Really good deal. <clears throat> okay, what do we got here? More? More Glenn Cook? This was on a different day though. So, and these were uh, one dollar each, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna go through probably a bunch of Glenn Cook books here. October's Baby, haven't seen this one before. Sorry about the, uh, the lighting, not too good, but pretty cool cover art there. The Shadow of All Night Falling. Huh, first in the awesome Dread Empire series. Reap the East Wind, another Dread Empire. Pretty nice condition too, especially for one buck. You know, novel of the Black Company. There's a lot of the, <clears throat> a lot of books in the series, the Black Company series. Shadows Linger. Oh yeah, so this was the, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, it's book number two in the Black Company series. Passage at Arms. Looks like a sci-fi series, maybe. The Dragon Never Sleeps. Looks like another, looks, still looks like a sci-fi series. Maybe these two are related. Dread Brass Shadows. Dark War Trilogy Book One, Doomstalker. Uh, back to the fantasy. Book number two, Warlock. It's all fairly nice condition too. All one buck each, and here we got book three, Ceremony. It's cool to find a bunch of books by the same author, too, I think. Put that out of the way. Got a lot to get through. Those will go a lot quicker. We're looking at the, some of the better stuff first. We'll save, the, yeah, we'll see. It's a banana peel. <laughs> I always come this way with the, uh, with the banana to give a piece to the rabbit. She gets a little piece of banana every day. Shadow play. So we got some Shadow Ron books. I think a few here. And two by X or two XS or double extra small, whatever you want to, to call it. Shadow Run books are all, you, I come across them quite often, usually for a buck too, like all the like these are. But they're always cool finds based on the video game series, which has some remakes, I think, in recent years as well. Uh, the Shining, nice, cool, pretty good looking copy, actually, for especially for a buck. Yeah, not too bad. So let's see how late, guaranteed, uh, the, it's hard to find early printings. <clears throat> they printed so many of these. See, oh, this is a 14th, so. It's actually not too, too bad. Good deal, great deal for book there. We got the early Asimov book two. This one's in nice condition. Looks like a, the Great Divorce. So we got a bunch of C.S. Lewis books here. And the Abolition of Man. This one's a more common. Edition. Some of them are more vintage and worth a little bit more, of course, the earlier ones of particular books of his, of the nonfiction stuff. Uh, Out of the Silent Planet, first book in the Space Trilogy. This one's in really nice shape. Um, this could have been two bucks. I think it should have been. I might have got it for a buck. I don't remember. I think it was a buck. Um, choose your own adventure number three space and beyond really nice condition so this is a really awesome find for sure let's see if there's anything written in it 
since they're kids books you got to check that because they're worth a little bit too so it looks pretty good so far you know usually the initial page will tell you what you need to know and then I guarantee that yeah the rest of this is pretty clean so awesome find there for a buck Romantic Gothic Tales, 1790 through 1840. Got Poe, Balzac, <laughs> Hawthorne, Mary Shelley. Nice condition, too. One buck, pretty awesome. And also an old vintage copy of Pet Cemetery. Actually, be in pretty okay condition. Looks like the uh, cover's kind of coming off on the back there a little bit. But if you. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get used too much more, should be all right for a little while. A third printing, pretty cool for a buck. And also for buck, Prime Evil, we got Kane Barker, Straub, and some other guys I haven't heard of. Cool cover, awesome find, and one dollar for in. Another NYRB classic, one we haven't I haven't come across before called Red Shift. A little bend in the back there. But for a dollar, pretty good deal. And for a dollar, check the I checked the discs too. They're they're okay. Uh, season nine of Seinfeld. Very good season, actually. Very funny episodes, of course. Okay, before we get to the bag stuff, the stuff we have to go really quick through, let's see. Got this stuff today from inside the store, so some choice items here, including a bunch of Ace Editions, the white covers of the Michael Moorcock Elric series, $1.99 or $2 for, let's see, we got book six here, Stormbringer, really nice condition for these two. Book five, Bane of the Black Sword. So books five, six, four, five, and six, Vanishing Tower, book four here, and book two. So we're missing book one and book three, as far as these editions, but hey, we got four of them, that's pretty awesome, you know, for eight bucks for all those, really nice condition. And these are the ones that I would choose as far as uh, the different editions of the Elric series, so... There's other Ace editions that are silver and Berkeley editions there, so they look almost exactly the same, though. It's interesting. We got another Glenn Cook book here. Petty Pewter Gods, $1.99 for this one. Nice commission. And a Robert McCammon book. We got Boys, Boys Life. I heard this is really good. Three bucks, so I might keep this right. I got another McCammon book that I could list this with, so I'll probably sell it. We'll see. Spend a little extra on this omnibus or four and one, if you will, of Tales of the Dying Earth by Jack Vance. This is the full series, apparently. I think I might keep this around for myself. I have trouble finding the book. I, I, I find Jack Vance books once in a while, but. Not of the Dying Earth series, but that's pretty cool find. Nice condition, too. But, yeah, six bucks for that one. And for two ninety nine, dollars Books of Blood. This is pretty common, but this one's in really nice shape. Three and one. Clive Barker. All right, so let's make a little room here and quickly go through. So, what we got here... It's two bags from two different bag sales. Five dollars for all of these books and then five dollars for all of these books. So let's get to it. So we're gonna have a lot of random stuff, nothing too exciting, but anything decent or good that we do find in these piles is that much better because it was so much cheaper. So a lot of stuff here will be used to put together listings for sale and such. That's how keep the best best way to keep the store going and check out the store if you if you're interested i'll usually leave a link in the description there this is a really good find for bag sale alan watts books alan's <laughs> alan watts book cloud hidden whereabouts unknown a mountain drill awesome so put that aside put that in my own library egbert's easy over the thinner the book the better as far as bag because you're filling up the bag 
So we've got some uh, cartoon stuff here. Looks like he's in the womb, I guess, <laughs> or something. Edgar Casey on Atlantis. Edgar Casey, Mystery Man of Miracles. James A. Michener, Sayonara. Very nice uh, shape. Creative Dreaming. A book on Pandemic. Thomas Harris, who wrote the Hannibal series, Black Sunday. Nice condition on this one. I guess this was apparently a movie as well. I haven't seen it. Maybe I'll check it out someday. We'll see. History of the Russian Secret Service. Ooh. Pretty cool find right there. So interesting stuff is kind of what I'm looking for. Stuff that I think people would want to read, or at least that I would want to read if, in case I don't sell it. <laughs> Cat Fantastic Four. I think we found one of these last time. So we got another one there. We got here. The Church in an Age of Revolution. It's a, uh... Oh, okay. Western Society and the Church in the Middle Ages. That's pretty cool. Oh, these looks like these are all of a series. Let's see. Yep, the Reformation, as you will see in a second here. The Church and the Age of Reason from 1648 to 1789. See, they got they're all the same. Oh, they're Pelican too, so that's pretty cool. So there, so right there, you got you got a list, and you just take. All it needs right there is just the pictures taken and put it in the list in the uh, in the computer. Boom. But otherwise, the whole idea is to put similar or like like books together, different series, have different author subjects. You get the idea. William L. Shire, good friend of Adolf Hitler, the collapse of the Third Republic, an inquiry into the fall of France, and they conclude. I think that's the, the, yeah, okay, that's the Hitler's friend, Schreier. More World War II Nazi stuff here. Otto's boy, Walter Wagner, and this looks in nice condition, so people are always interested in reading that stuff. And here's a Thomas, another Thomas Harris book, Red Dragon, part of the Hannibal series. <coughs> Graham Greene's Brighton Rock. Hang on, so a really cool find. Orange spine right there. Hey, here's a Viking portable library we've got for, from Bag Day. Portable Melville, writer of Moby Dick. Uh, pro football, really, really, really thin little thing right here. From the 1985. And more, oh yeah, I think we got maybe a few others too. 1984, these are pretty cool. They don't take up any room in the bag either. Dick Francis, Rat Race. We got here, the Giant Rat of Sumatra. Richard L. Boyer, sounds kind of familiar. Sometimes I bag day, grab a lot of random stuff for sure. <laughs> Baseball is a funny game. We got a few sports books here. Merv, Merv Griffin. Oh, I actually have a list in there. Put that in soon. Eva and Adolf, so some more World War II stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to. Keep these all separated. Let's see. The White Witch. What is this? Uh, some... Huh. Must have just looked cool at the time. Look more into that. Um, Thomas Harris, Hannibal. So another one. Got Red Dragon, Hannibal. We're just missing Silence of the Lambs. And one other one. Shakespeare, um, what we got here? Oh, introducing Shakespeare. 
Pelican book, pretty thin. Dragon Lance, that's a good find for Bag Day. Kindred Spirits. Oh, sorry, the lighting's not too good. Let me turn this way. The meeting, okay, volume one. I'm not going fast enough, I know. Doctor's Book of Home Remedies for Dogs and Cats. Nice condition. Ooh, this was a big one. So this took up a little extra room in the bag, but it's an old edition of, well, not old edition, but an old vintage copy of Tolstoy's War and Peace that's still holding together. That's the challenge of the bigger the book, the harder it is in paperback form to, pocket paperback form to hold together after so long. But yeah, pretty cool. Cool find there. What else we got? Tolkien, Two Towers. This is a bal old Ballantine. Purple cover. How to Uncover Your Past Lives. Depression in the body, biological basis of faith and reality. The wolves. We got some more World War II stuff here. Yeah, have a lot of that. Huh? Make for some good listings. Here's Alexander Solzhenitsyn, or what, however you say his name. I'm just making it up now. Saying it different every time. 19th, August 1914. Tolkien's Fellowship of the Rings. This is a Del Rey edition. In okay condition. Not too bad. Check your wits. It's a popular library. Let's see here. That looks pretty cool. Okay, what else we got? White Fang 2. I didn't know there was a White Fang 2. Movie novelization. The Other Side of the Mountain and The Other Side of the Mountain 2. Not too familiar with that, but since there's both of them, it makes for an easy listing. The Volcano Ogre by Lynn Carter. Who someone informed me who watches has watched these videos is Lynn Carter is a man, not a woman. I did not know that. I've always thought the name Lynn was a well, we had a roommate growing up named Lynn as a woman. But yeah, I guess it's a man's name too. Characters of the Reformation. Image heard of Image, except for Image Comics, of course. Siege, so some more World War II stuff. Japan's domination of the Far East. King Kong, the dino production of... Huh. Not in very good shape. It's got some water damage. Uh, pocket Encyclopedia of Organic Gardening. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but interesting size, a little bit longer. John Saul, Nathaniel. Book on Patent, Ordeal and Triumph. Now a major motion picture. Merlin. I think this is a uh, anthology of some sort of like, collaboration of authors. Let's see. Yes, it looks like it. Yeah, all sorts of different short stories. In there. Okay, interesting. Clive Barker's Cabal. This is a pretty cool find for Bag Day. Decent condition too. Feels feels pretty good. Crime Confederation, The Godfather. Interesting. Godfather and this. And now, okay, so this is like a sequel or something afterwards? I don't know. All right. And, oh yeah, a couple movies. Lost in Translation with Bill Murray, which I think is based off an old movie, which I'm pretty sure I've seen. Um, maybe by the same name, I'm not sure. 
Oh, no, no, that's the man who knew too little. This is something else. Got those confused. 15 Chuck Norris movies. All in one thing. Uh, it's all backwards or something. I'll just, you just turn that around, but yeah. Hey, for bag day? Pretty awesome. Chuck Norris movies are notoriously bad, but fun to watch. Fun to riff on if you are into the art of riffing yourself. It just comes naturally for me since I grew up watching Mystery Science Theater. Robert Louis Stevenson, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is a little mini illustrated paperback. Not, the gr not too great a condition, but pretty cool. And a little golden guide on Yosemite, or as our former president called it, Yosemite. We got like a map in there too, so even better. <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt, on my own. Short story masterpiece. This is in a pretty nice condition, so this is kind of a cool find. Uh, all sorts of different, uh, oops, bad lighting right there. Different authors. Mercedes, or edited by Mercedes Lackey. What do we got here? Changing the world. Ooh, okay, so there we go. We can see that. 16 all original stories of the Heralds. Anyways. 1984. Pretty okay copy for bag day. Bent spine. Well read. Not bad for bag day, though. Asimov and Silverberg, the Positronic Man? The Positronic Man. <laughs> Haven't heard of that one. P.D. James, the Black Tower. The Dictionary of Mythology. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got a little bit of a mess going on here. Need to get to this anyway. Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. Like a big and hefty. Robert Silverberg. You got a couple Silverberg books here. This is Valentine Pontifex. And Silverberg's The Alien Years, his epic masterpiece, apparently. Still got the old Borders price sticker on it. <laughs> Remember those stickers? They come off easily. I appreciate stickers that come off easily as far as price stickers on books. The Lost Years of Jesus Revealed. I don't want to read about that time he went to Vegas. <laughs> okay, we got here the Dead Sea Scrolls in English. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is a pelican, so even better. In a pink one book, I've got the Somerset Mahab. Maham? I don't know. Richard's Edge. Oh, two copies, huh? Same. Publisher, different editions, sort of. <laughs> Gene Wolfe, we got a few Gene Wolfe books here. Soldier in the Mist, pretty nice condition. Let's switch hands here. Yes, again, sorry about the lighting. Another Silverberg book here. This is Madripoor Chronicles. Nice condition on that one. Found another Talbot Mundi book to go with the ones we found in the last couple weeks or so. Number five of the Tros of Samothrace, or whatever. This one's in a little better condition than those other ones I have, I think. Got Penguin Classics, Balzac's Lost Illusions. Don't see this very often. That's pretty cool. One of the Black Spine Penguin books here. And Jack L. Chalker's Demons of the Dancing Gods. This is of a series. 
we see fairly often. Uh, Mercedes Lackey again. Another one of the, uh, let's see, Sword of Ice and other tales of Valdemar. Oh, wait. There we go. Trying to keep some of them together here. Save a little work, otherwise just do it over, do this all over again basically afterwards. The democracy in America, which has happened before. If I just stack them back just the same way I had them, basic, basically. Um, okay, some more political stuff. Yeah, I found a lot of political books. Should make her some easy listings to make though. Diane Duane's The Book of Night with Moon. There's another kitty cat. Coming. Unknown Lincoln. This that's really old. Twenty five cents. Cheaper by the dozen. Got the statecraft of Machiavelli. Nice condition. Collier books. And a beat up copy, but hey, on a bag day, this is a really awesome find. Weird of the White Wolf. This was the one that we did have from those other ones there night, but this is a, it is an ace, but it's, as you see, it's a silver. Um, see the difference? You got the silver, and these are the white ones. But, hey, now we're only missing book one from there. But I like to keep them in similarity, you know. Sophocles, the Theban plays, another pig one, black spine. Making a mess here. 50 great short stories. One of the uh, Knowledge Through Color books, Aircraft. I haven't seen this one before, so this should be pretty cool. Oh, shoot. As you see, it's always have really it's littered with the tons of really cool illustrations. These are older books too, so back in the day, those were really cool for sure. And yes, books were cool. Books were the form of entertainment, even while television was more popular. Still, the Doonesbury book. Let's see, and that's my final offer. This one's in very nice condition though. Pretty cool. Chinese cookbook. Not very good condition. Kind of a cool find though. Robert Aspen. Take two before reading. Another myth, another fine myth. In myth directions, <laughs> very punny. And Spider and Jean Robinson Star Seed. Here's to you, Spider Robinson. Fred Saberhagen's Berserker. You see this once in a while. And incidents in the life of a slave girl. Don't see that. Don't see that too often. This is a Signet classic, so fairly well-known book, I guess. Immortal poems of the English language. So a big anthology of poetry, I think. And another cat, cat fantastic number two. We saw number four earlier, I think. And. One, I think, a week or so ago. So, you know, got a few. Book on a very weird looking man named Richard Nixon. <laughs> he looks so weird right there. Like they, how they portray him in the Futurama series. He shakes his jowls. <laughs> U.S. versus Richard M. Nixon. Interesting. Okay, almost done here. One little, one last pile. Ring World by Larry Niven. Not very good condition, but that's all right. Chemistry of the Blood. 
Looks very nice condition on this old vintage science type book. We got Castle View by Gene Wolfe. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so. We got another Gene Wolfe or two coming. Like this one, The Sword of the Lictor. This is one of those time escape editions or whatever. I like those for some reason. <laughs> you don't see them too often, but they're quality. I don't know. Feel it seem like they're quality paperbacks. And of course, they're of the uh, fantasy and science fiction genres that I like a lot. No, I like all almost all genres except for romance. The Citadel of the uh, Dark. I'm sure there's some other genres I don't like. Just can't think of any at the moment. Magic of Recluse. Because I like a mo I like most of them. Now this is the first book of the Recluse series. I'm pretty sure of it by L. E. Modesit. This one's a pretty nice condition. Stephen R. Donaldson, The Ill Earth War. Now, what is this book? Yeah, this is book two of the Thomas Covenant, the Unbeliever. Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, the Unbeliever. The first Chronicles, I'm pretty sure. It's a big difference between the two. Plus, you gotta read the first before you read the second. King Edward the Seventh. Sorry, the focus is not too good on this. There we go. Penguin book, so that's pretty cool. What a mess we got here. The Fall of a President. Another Richard Nixon book. Dorothy L. Sayers book, Gaudy Night Mystery. She's supposed to be pretty good. I watched a movie of hers. Uh, it was, uh, it was, that, the movie was good. I'm not saying, basing my assumption off that. I've heard she's good as well. And last, I think, is this last? No, we got, I think we got a couple of Win one. No, this is it. This is the last one. New American Review 14. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is from the same. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Oh, it's just uh, literature from a certain time period, I guess. Huh. Oversi kind of an oversized pocket paper bag. Put it next to a regular one. You can see the uh, little bit of size difference there. Anyways, thanks for watching. This took too long. Once again, got a whole mess. Got to go through these, but believe it or not, this uh, helps a little bit as far as sorting it out. All right, got to get to it. Thanks for watching. Happy reading to you. To those about to read, we salute you.